daughter. Golf carts will be running this afternoon, just like they were this morning. Pick you up on the dock. Make sure you check your text for your check-in time. Make sure you know what your check-in time is. All right, guys, BFL, Kerr Lake Regional Tournament, day number one, about to get started. Uh, just got checked in, just did the anthem, just did the prayer. Right, um, thoughts and prayers with everybody who's been hit by these uh, hurricanes and all this terrible weather. Praying that you guys are okay. Day one, BFL Regional. Let's have some fun with it. Let's go. Let's get out there. Got on those nice tonic eyewears on. Check that out. But, guys, we're out here. We're ready to get it started. Let's go. All right, guys, Kerr Lake BFL, day one, complete. Time to weigh in. Guys, look at this lake, though, man. This place is flooded. Hey, I do know you, right? Yeah. You Dixon? Yes, sir. How you doing, man? Good. Good. Um, guys, so Curl Lake BFL, this place is flooded. Take a look, guys. Look at that. Absolutely crazy, but it's so much fun, guys. It was fun fishing today. I had a blast um, trying to get over. One second. Yeah. Oh, boy. I could do a lot better in my younger days. I'm stuck. All right, guys, here we go. We got the bags. We're going to go head over here, weigh in our little fish. We do got fish, so we're excited about the fish. And we're going to go weigh in and see what we can do on tomorrow. So let's go. Guys, I just want you to see how high up this bridge is. Guys, this is a bridge here. Normally, some people can go under this bridge and fish. This is how high it, high up it is. The water is actually touching the bottom of this bridge. You cannot go under it to get to the other side of the fish. All right, guys, I'm here at the Airbnb in North Carolina getting situated. Little TV, little bed, and whatnot. Um, you see, I see I got tackled everywhere. I'm organizing my bag, getting ready for tomorrow. Getting my food and snacks ready. About to lay it down, though, to be honest with you guys, because I am tired. Got the Evolve Raw sleeves on. Got my rods and reels ready to rock. Just re spooled, relined, re tied. Um, relined what I could. I didn't reline everything, but I relined everything because I didn't break off or do anything crazy. So, um, but that's where we're at. I did make a change to one of my jigs. I lost a couple of fish on a nice jig that I thought that was going to work out good for me. So I had to reline that and um, change the jig. And I'm going to try it again tomorrow. This one has a bigger hook. Um, I lost a couple of fish. I think I need a bigger hook. So I'm going to go with the bigger hook. Um, bigger hooks on pretty much everything I got. Um, I got a fluke tied on. I did change my color of that. I did tie on a Texas rig instead of a jig. Got a drop shot tied on. It's a little tiny spinner bait. Uh, a swimming jig and actually those may be interchanged i got a drop shot on with a tiny little uh, plastic on the drop shot so i don't know what's going to happen tomorrow but i know i am going uh power finesse fishing i'm throwing that swim jig spinner bait if i can get the bites on that or the fluke and if not man i'm, I'm going straight to finesse and pitch at everything i can hoping i get a bite on something so i gotta lock in i gotta make as many casts as i can and do what i can so i just want to take you guys along with me and show you, let's document the day. Oh, sorry, I got one more bait over here too. Little uh, flat sided deal, but got a couple things here. About to get uh, most of this stuff put in the car, situated, and um, I'm ready to rock in the morning. So, also got that flask cap with me. You guys know I love my little flask cap deal here. Um, we basically, you can take the top off and put, you have a different thing here to put different types of uh, drinks in. So, Pretty cool deal here for the flask cat, but yeah, guys, we're gonna get after it. Um, and then we're gonna see if we can make something happen, see if we can pull off a, a, a big comeback on tomorrow. So, all right, guys, good morning, good morning. Day two, Kerr Lake Regional BFL tournament. This is day two. Uh, I'm about to get it started here. We're both 70 today. Uh, check in time, I think three something, but. Guys, thankful to be out here as always. Thankful for the opportunity to even get out and have a chance to fish. So, um, got the 13 fishing. Got those beautiful looking Evolve Rod covers. Uh, we are ready to rock uh, and kick this day off. So, uh, 168, 171, somewhere around there. People competing. Um, pretty tough. Pretty tough. Just going to be honest. It's pretty tough. But, always, there's always a chance. One swing of the rod. There's always a chance to catch a nice one. Have a great day. And either way, still nice. Beautiful weather, right? Like, really nice. Take a look. And um, we're going to see how the day shakes out. I'm excited to be out here. We're going to get out here and get after it. Take a look at this guy, though. You might recognize him. I think that's that Jeffrey Davis guy. What's up, Jeffrey? Um, but, guys, out here looking forward to having a good time. Um, and we're going to see how things shake out. So stay tuned. As always, day two vlog. All right, guys, day two. Uh, we're headed to grab some weigh-in bags. Guys, day two. Uh, just wrapped up. We're headed to get some weigh-in bags. There, I do got to get two weigh-in bags, so that's good. 
uh, but unfortunately my bag's gonna be a little little light but you know it is what it is guys i'm very thankful um to get out here and fish and have a good time i um, have really uh two really great guys man that i had to, got to fish with had a good time with both of them so um good time i'm glad to get out here um, i'll be honest with you guys i'm so glad that this tournament's over um i'm so glad that this bfl run is about done um so i am so glad and um guys i'm gonna get my bag and i'll, I'll come back to you um with some more information guys but i'm so glad this this is absolutely finito like i said we just wrapped up um we're headed to go get bags uh for the weigh-in so stay tuned uh i'm gonna actually bring you guys along with the uh weigh-in part for my little fish guys because this is you know this is fun it's fun i'm glad i'm glad we're wrapping up and it's fun so we're gonna weigh in um weighing this old spotted bass look i done fished curry lake for the last four years guys i ain't never caught no spotted bass out of here and today that's all i caught was spotted bass all spotted bass like what is going on it's, it's not even this ain't even Kurt lake no more i have no idea what this place is this is lake lanier this is lake norman this is not Kurt lake no more this is all spotted bass every time i set the hook dang spotted bass so um that's actually good because now yeah i don't want to fish this no, no more maybe in the springtime it'll be better all right guys we're headed to the ramp so just to see that's a little bassy in there huh oh yeah i'm right um i'm up up the hill on this side you guys headed to the weigh-in line as you guys can see what happens to the best of them, I promise you, you need to back and do it. Just wrapping up the BFL regional uh, day two. Uh, I'm back at I'm back at the whip here. We're not sticking around for day three, guys. We're going home. Okay. So um, the good news is, though, based on how I did, I'm actually going to try to see if I can fish the kayak uh, championship tomorrow. I got to check and see. I'm gonna put it on the calendar, see how it kind of shakes out. But man, um, hopefully I can get into this kayak classic. It's on a place that I'm used to fishing. I'll be back in the kayak. See if I can end, end the weekend on a high note. But had a good time. Met some great people, man. My boater today, Scott. Um, I voted yesterday. Um, real good people, man. We had a good time. I had a can't say I didn't catch fish. I did catch fish. I just didn't catch the right ones to make it to day three, you know. So it is what it is. Um, but uh, I'm thankful as always to get out here and have a chance to catch some fish, have a chance to enjoy, meet some cool people out here on the water. And um, I'm about to go find something to eat because I'm starving. Uh, the blueberry bars are not cutting it. I'm gonna have to find some real food and then I'm gonna head home uh, to the family and see how everybody is doing. Uh, so good time out here at uh kerr uh i always love fishing kerr guys you guys know that if you follow my channel at all you know i love fishing kerr and you know why i love fishing kerr um it's literally the place i won my first bfl so i absolutely love kerr wonderful place um i think if this bumps my chances down to seven out of 13 times i gotta check so it's not bad you know it's a good place to come out here and fish good time but guys to be honest with you I, I, every time I fish Kerr, there's never been this many spotted bass in this place. I've never caught a spotted bass out here in the last five years. And for some reason today, the only time I set the hook, it was on a spotted bass. Like, I don't understand that. This is not uh, Lake Norman. This is not Lake Lanier. This is Kerr Lake. I don't understand where these spotted bass came from. Um, but they're all over the place. So if you set the hook, it might be a spotted bass now. So all my tips for how to catch fish out here are no longer valid. They're all wrong. Okay, you got to learn how to catch spotted bass if you want to come out here to Kerr. So I've got to work on that if I want to keep doing well at Kerr otherwise i'm gonna go to the potomac all right so stay tuned guys always i want to do my outro here on the water before i go and um i'm gonna head out and i'm headed to the crib and we're gonna see how things shake out from there so stay tuned guys as always your boy bass and Furious. thank you for tuning in appreciate you guys catch you guys on the next one peace